that. The game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. No reason to choose otherwise. And no other choice. Hello there. Huh? What are you doing in my room? Your room? <laughs> well played, friend. You haven't been in Panacone long, but you already know how to rope people into your cause. Oh, don't misunderstand. That was a mere reminder. This place runs deep with plenty of unsavory characters. Don't forget to stay on your toes. Like, keeping your door closed. <laughs> I'll make my exit now. Have a pleasant stay. <laughs> Why haven't you left? I said, why haven't you left? <sighs> Have I come to the wrong room? <sighs> this can't be. Before I said anything, I even made sure that I had the right room number. Do I have the wrong wing or even the wrong block? <sighs> I'm sorry, this hotel is huge and the hallways all look the same. It's easy to get lost in here. Anyway, as long as you're all right, I should return to my room, too. But before I go, can I ask you a question? You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude. But I wish to know, have we met somewhere before? Is that so? I haven't been able to shake off this familiar feeling since just now. Maybe this is what they call deja vu. <laughs> or it could purely be serendipity. This is your name, isn't it? Pleased to meet you. <laughs> you forget. That man mentioned it before he left. My memory's not very good, but it's not so bad that I can't remember details from just minutes ago. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. We will likely meet again. Lastly, a gentle reminder. There are people who possess unwavering resolution and faith, even unto death, and they do not wield such conviction for good. And on that man's face, I see such a similar expression. One who wears a blade must use it to cut, eventually. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. That is all I can say. I thought you should know all this before making a choice. Goodbye. Acheron left. Strange. I can't shake off this odd feeling I have. Uh, forget it. It's taken a while, but at least I can finally enter the dream. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? All these hallways really look the same to me. Seems like it's over. Time to work the dream pool according to the Dreamscape Pass's instructions. Welcome to Pinaconi, honored guest. Uh, uh, 
Please relax. Feel the ebb and flow of your body. Just focus on breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Imagine a dreamland. <laughs> What is it, Ratio? Why the long face? Hey, I just realized. Where's that handsome bust of yours? You're late. By 4 minutes and 16 seconds. You better have solved the mystery of Akavili's fall. Otherwise, I suggest not tangling with the nameless. <laughs> you mean you don't believe me when I say I truly wish to befriend them? Glamorous people do not make friends. Fun fact, the Atini Peacock boasts one of the universe's more jarring songs, and your choice of attire is somewhat peacock-esque. <laughs> it seems this peacock is short of a feather or two. The family's been rummaging through your things, haven't they? Yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the cash gifts and the box containing the cornerstones. Huh? Where are you going? Back home. To tell the corporation that some idiot ruined everything. <laughs> it's nothing more than a few rocks. Why so serious? <laughs> Who cares if they're gone? Without that aventurine stone, you're nothing more than a doomed Sigonian thrall, sentenced to die by the IPC. Or is that serial number on your neck a cherished memento from the Amber Lord? <laughs> you're funny, I'll give you that. It appears our erudite friend has done his homework. It's my job. How would a gambler wrest Panacone back from the IPC otherwise? <laughs> Don't worry, Doctor. I have my ways. The family fears interference from the IPC, hence their constant intervention. Or to play devil's advocate, perhaps Panacone might have always been a ruse under the guise of the Harmony. If you ask me, that invite is nothing but a self-planted diversion. A red herring. Or... Maybe they're thinking of pulling off something big during the Charmony Festival. Or someone else made the invite, and they acquiesced to elevating the magnitude of the plan. <laughs> well, regardless, be it the family or the Watchmaker's legacy, as long as they're all useful to me. Get to the point. What's your plan? <laughs> well, no need to expand on that now. It's not yet time to reveal my trump card. <laughs> Damned gambler. Any true collaboration demands trust. Did that notion somehow escape your Sigonian upbringing? <laughs> then... do you trust me? That depends on you. Hmm, so you don't trust me either. Now that was easy, wasn't it? Also, I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't teach me any of that. A pity. They left before they could impart any life lessons. I did not mean to offend. I'm not offended. But they did teach me that friends are weapons of the Avgens. Even under the watchful eye of the Harmony, we need as many friends as we can get. <clears throat> Let's see... The Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express have already made contact. The Annihilation Gang... I can't really count on them. The Knights of Beauty haven't given their answer. And as for the bunch at the tavern... It's 
Speaking of which, I ran into a woman just now who introduced herself as a Galaxy Ranger. The whole conversation felt off. Help me look into her. Huh? <laughs> oh, you don't really disdain me that much, do you? Well, seems like I'm on my own again. So this is the dreamscape? The atmosphere here creeps me out. What was that weird noise just now? <laughs> 